الله الرحمن الرحيم وأتي الله أتي رسول أولي الأمر منكم and always a reminder to myself and abdika rajeesa da'eefu, miskeenu, zalim, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And then inshaAllah asking that Allah dress us from the immense reality of 27 mm-hmm. and that this is a, a gate in the oceans of the reality of the power of nine and the sultanate and that the reality of nine representing the, the state of annihilation is the highest and most powerful of the single digit numbers and the numeric code of annihilation that Allah in the ninth month takes the servant to be raised up and all their badness to be crushed by the power of, of Ramadan and the realities of Ramadan. That Allah want to dress the nation to present them to the presence of His beloved King and the reality in which Allah dressed upon Sayyidina Muhammad and Shaykh Sultanul Awliya Mawlana Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani in his Du'a Mandur asking us that to ask Allah by the secret of the two and the seven. And when we look to the reality of 27 is a gate, is a gate into that ocean of the kingdom, the 27th surah is the Surat al Nam about the kingdom of Sayyidina Sulaiman which was and every Prophet of Allah was only a symbol of what was given to the reality of the complete Risalat and the complete representative of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad Through that we understood that Allah سَخَرْ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْعَرْضِ that we have given to you everything within the heavens and with, within the earth and the created world and the world of light and anything is that is between them all of them are been given to you Sayyidina Muhammad So the 27th surah is just for the dunya people to remember, look what powers Allah gave under the dominion and authority of the prophecy of Sayyidina Sulaiman and this nothing compared to the ocean and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad By that reality is the sign of the kingdom, that the physical kingdom you have to come to the door of the physical king to reach the spiritual king's reality. And that's the importance of this 27 that when we're drawing close to that Allah want us to understand that come to the king Malik al-Hayat wa Malik al-Dunya, Mim Ha Mim Dal, Malik al-Hayat wa Malik al-Dunya Muhammad. So means this Malik al-Hayat is the Malik and the king of all eternity and oceans of eternity. Malik dunya is that the sultanate of everything in the world of manifestation, entire universes, billions of galaxies, all of that is the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah put that reality within the Divinely name of Sayyidina Muhammad Each of the huruf is a description of that reality. This Malik al-Hayat, this is the king and the reality of the oceans of eternity because you enter into the world of light and the world of light has no more time, that is the ocean of eternity. And Malik al-Dunya is that anything that manifesting that Allah gave it an existence it's all under that dominion of Muhammad and that becomes the seal of all that creation. Wa thabi wal ishreen the reality of the two from the huruf that the two is a representation of Bahr Qudra and that all of Holy Qur'an is in the 30 juz, all 30 juz and seven verses of Fatiha. All the reality of Surat Al-Fatiha is in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. 
This is all the power oceans for somebody to even contemplate that what we can't even understand of the power of Allah's Divinely speech. Allah is encapsulating that reality and saying that the, the laser of it, the condensed understanding of it is Basira Surat al Fatiha. So, when the shaykhs are saying by the secret of Surat Fatiha, I'm reciting. Is bringing out all the realities of Holy Qur'an upon that recitation. And Allah give them the like a key that they don't have to recite every single verse that's relevant for that secret, for that uh, nijad, for that salvation, for that shifa. But it's merely that if they've been dressed by that secret Allah then taught them through the awliyaullah is just say Basira Surat al Fatiha, whatever secret Allah has given to your soul, they're reciting by that secret, Ya Rabbi, Surat al Fatiha to be recited. Because all of that Holy Qur'an is dressing Surat al Fatiha, and we've described many times before the tafsir of Surat al Fatiha. Each verse of Surat al Fatiha contains all the realities of the Holy Qur'an. Every verse when you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, every verse that makes reference to hamd of Allah its spring and its location of where it came from was from that Surat Al-Fatiha verse, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. It's the fountainhead, what came out are all the verses. So, awliyaullah are taking from the head of the fountain, not from all the other verses, they're going towards the source. That source is the oceans of power, oceans of realities, oceans of emanation. From that Surat Al-Fatiha Allah said, then it's all condensed into Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. So that when they say Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, again Allah giving them all the secrets of Surat Al-Fatiha. And from all the secrets of Surah Fatiha they're dressing with all the lights of Holy Qur'an is coming out. So this is the immensity of, of those realities. So when Mawlana Shaykh would say, say every day hundred times, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, the Ya Rabbi not by me but the secret that you've given to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to his Ahlul Bayt, to his Ashab and to awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard by their secret Ya Rabbi Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That's why they teach the tafakkur, that's why they teach the, the muraqabah is they take yourself out of the way. Annihilate yourself that you don't exist, you don't exist and that dress yourself from the reality of these awliyaullah and by their secret, by their reality that Allah has dressed upon them, then we're reciting Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem hundred times, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. It's like fountain springs of reality that just dressing the soul like explosions onto the heart. If the servant doesn't feel it, they are not there yet but doesn't mean that they weren't dressed by it. That's the power of the tafakkur. If you don't learn tafakkur, you don't learn muraqabah, then everything you're doing is based on you. And that, that is a completely different understanding based on you, what you do, what you recite is, is of what value. But when we take the you out, and I want to do based on them, those whom Allah has blessed from Allah's Atiullah, Ati Rasul, wa Ulul Amri Minkum, but Allah dressed those whom He favoured by their reality, Ya Rabbi dress me and bless me. That's why the muraqabah is the foundation of everything that we do. When you live a life of annihilating the self that myself is not important, myself is actually the biggest harm. That the blocking me from Divinely Presence is me, it's not Allah blocking us, it's me who's partnering, partner with shaitan and two of them are destroying everything. When you learn to take me out then we open we. So lose the me and become the we, that it's not me that's important. But if I lost myself then we become part of the heaven, the kingdom and let the kingdom of Allah dress the servant and their reality. 
Then Allah when it won't address Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Allah then give even more power that all of that is on the ba. All of that reality is on the ba. And those whom are ulul ahbab, those whom are the 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 doorkeepers, the gatekeeper of that reality. So then you see everything comes to the ba like a big gate and the other side of the gate is all the knowledges of this king and the sultanat that given into the heart and the reality of the prophecy of Sayyidina Muhammad So all the knowledges is Prophet describing, I'm the city of knowledges and come to Imam Ali salam, he's the gatekeeper. And those whom he trains they become the ulul ahbab, those whom are gatekeepers of that reality. They know the reality and they've been given their sword to guard that reality. And anybody who approaches them has to go through their zulfiqar, has to go through their zulfiqar because their zulfiqar is to take your head off. Not physically for those who are listening online and some go, what did he just say? No, it's the spiritual <laughs> head. The head is the me. With this head you can't get anywhere. If they don't train you on how to cut your head to become we and that's why all the turuqs have La ilaha illallah, La basira lam alif means don't use your head. Bring the power of that sword onto your head and take the head off, take what you think off, take what you even imagine it off, never let it enter into the head. These are the knowledges of the heart and the soul. If every time you want to take a knowledge and then let it go and chew up into your head, that's where shaitan and the nafs, everything is residing within this head. By the time it reached there it already been contaminated by shaitan as if he has defecated upon that knowledge. It be mixed with the satanic understanding and doubt and shaq and waswas. That's why then the ulul ahbab and why Imam Ali Salam is teaching from that reality that this was the sword of Prophet La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and Prophet gave that sword, gave the Zulfiqar to Imam Ali that nobody can carry that reality but you, this is your gift. So the love of Imam Ali Salam, the recognition of the love of Imam Ali Salam is immensely important into entering into that reality to inherit from that reality. So we pray that Allah address us and, and bless us from the reality of the two and the reality of the ba and that to be from ulul ahbab and the caretakers of the gate those whom they learn the book and they spread the book they taught the book they learn the book of allah is sayyidina muhammad there was no book in the time of prophet everyone knows the history of islam so where was the book Prophet is the walking book of Allah the immensity of that reality and that's for dunya. Where do you think the book is in heaven? The, the, the printing co company up there, printing? The book is on the soul of Prophet Lahul Mahfuz, the preserved tablet. All this teaching will someday make sense to people. When they want to know who's the Lahul Mahfuz, where is Lahul Mahfuz, where are they going to go to, to read from that? All is written on the soul of Prophet is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why their whole journey was this purification, to be cleansed, to be dressed by these realities so that their soul is entering into the heart of Prophet which is the kingdom of Allah on that soul then is written Lahul Mahfuz and that soul is written by what Allah is speaking is being manifested upon 
that light and on that reality. And the prayer of awliyaullah is that, Ya Rabbi let us to enter into that soul, let us to be dressed by its reality. And then when the souls are that much in the proximity into the center of the, of the soul and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad no doubt they're reading from that reality and they're being dressed from the preserved tablets. Their soul because it's not a tablet of physical, Allah's inscribing in the world of light upon the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad And if their proximity in that soul then that tablet is dressing, the heart of Prophet is dressing their souls from its reality, from its coordinates. We pray with the immensity of these realities to be dressed by these blessings. Mm -hmm. the, the Qadr night is just one understanding of the step of its immensity. Wa Allah gives such an amazing reward said that this is better than 1000 months and 30,000 30, days. Means it's better than your, your not even 30,000 days, it's better than a lifetime, 83 years of your life this journey. All your life not in this presence was worth nothing on this earth. If you didn't reach to this reality, what are you going to go and ask for, Ya Rabbi I want a paradise like an like a amusement park, I want to go to Magic Mountain. When you missed all the barakah and the blessings of what Allah was giving that find these guides and they're going to take you through this gate of reality. They're going to show you how to be Muhammadiyoon, how to have this good character, best of character. They should exemplify this pure and perfected character and they take everyone to this love and this ishq so that they can begin to enter into that reality. And the immensity of that reality of how Qur'an will be dressing them, all these lights will be dressing them, blessing them. So that they can enter into that reality of the ba, enter into the oceans of the Holy Qur'an and all its dress and all its realities. And the, the seven in the abjad is the za and the zat, the essence that how are they going to, to achieve what everything we do based on the seven, why seven tawaf, why seven names, why seven all this because it represents the zat and the essence. The seven is the za and the essence, our life is to, to reach to the za, to reach to the essence that by being dressed by this too, by being dressed by Qur'an, by being dressed by these lights and our soul entering into that presence of Sayyidina Muhammad then every other reality that Allah has been doing for us is to make everything to be perfected from that reality. That your seven tawaf, your seven names, that when you're doing your tafakkur and contemplation and perfecting yourself is to go through your seven darajats of paradise, to be dressed by all your levels of paradise into the highest levels of paradise in which Allah says, this highest level everything else will perish except the holy face. The holy face of Allah is what you call the essence and the zat. That essence of Allah can never be seen by you and me, it's reflected to the face of Sayyidina Muhammad That everything will perish but His holy face, Wajik al kareem That the generous face of the reality of the two ears of Sayyidina Muhammad the two eyes in the world of light, don't think of the physical form. But what this Divinely face and you find it in the Bible, you find it in Torah, the face of God Almighty. Face of God is an essence that dresses the face that He wants to represent Him for all of creation. Who are the people thinking Kingdom of God is coming? Those people who they drink, they eat pork, they go to every nightclub, they do every type of bad and they think that that Kingdom of nightclubs, pork and drinking is coming to earth? is already here. What are they thinking? Our Lord is coming down, His kingdom is coming down. What is coming down? Bacon, pork, drinking and nightclubs? If you think you represent His kingdom and you think that like a carnival from heavens is coming home to earth, 
or the kingdom of Allah is pure, there is no drinking, there is no bacon, there is no haram, there is no nakedness, there is no dancing, there is nothing. It's only a pure heavenly kingdom and it definitely is not here on this earth yet. So the signs are clear for people who think that the kingdom is coming. So those whom are teaching about the reality of the kingdom, of how they have to be clean, have to have good character, have to abstain from all things that are forbidden, all these things and that bring badness into life, all of those to be brought down so that the kingdom of Allah begin to emanate upon the servant. And that's why then Allah would dress them from their seven essences. These are seven essences and attributes of Allah that dresses the two openings of the ear, the two openings of the eyes, each with a different essence of Allah The essence of their breath and the essence of their tongue so that their face is the seven dresses, seven essences of Allah's Divinely names. That is the highest form of inheritance. This is the inheritance of Risalat. When Allah wanted His creature to be a prophet and divinely written and wrote for them to be prophets, Allah gave them that attribute. Otherwise how they can represent Allah if they can't hear their inspirations, if they couldn't see what they have to guide, if they couldn't breathe from Allah's qudrat and they couldn't speak from Allah's message or book, how could they guide humanity? So it means the highest gift Allah had given creation was to represent the message of Allah That's why it was all an inheritance from the Supreme Message. The Supreme Messenger of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad And the only message of Allah is Islam, Alam al-Islam, the, the world of Islam must enter into the earth. It is its dominion is upon this earth. It is the kingdom of Allah that coming upon the earth. And that's why the inheritance was then Allah want to give to creation. They cannot be uh, messengers of Allah but they should be inheriting the character and the quality of the messengers of Allah And that's why the ways and the turuqs are like a, a rope from the heart of Prophet that I'm going to make my nation like the prophets of Bani Israel. My ulama, not the ulama who just read books but the ulama whom they learned from the alams and their knowledge became real from these oceans of reality, they are the ropes in this Divinely Presence. They are the ropes that emanating from the heart of Prophet so that he makes his nation to have hearing inheriting from him, have seeing that inherits from him breathing, breath, hands and feet and then Allah made the hadith to be Qudsi that it's under the darajat of Qur'an. It's so holy that hadith that it's right below the level of Qur'an, it could have become a verse from Holy Qur'an that when my servant does their fad and then approaches me with voluntary worshipness, I become the ears they hear, the eyes they see, the breath they breathe, the hands they touch, the feet that they move and the tongue in which they speak. And they are Rabbaniyoon and they have power of kun fayakun, they inherited the seven. So it means the two, I'll address them from Holy Qur'an, enter into the oceans of knowledges. And the seven is then to be dressed by the essences so that they become guides and guidance of the reality. That they're dressed from these realities, they speak from these realities, that Allah dress them from all of these faculties so that their guidance is true and correct back into the oceans of that reality. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us, Amen. that every, every holiness of 27 and every month has a reality of 27. Every month the secret of the kingdom is opening and being dressed upon the servants of Allah 
We pray that Allah dress us from its realities, grant us from the knowledges of the two, the knowledges of Ba, the knowledges of Holy Qur'an and then dress us from the Zat and the, and the essences. Out of 124,000 awliya on earth at all times, one dies, one comes, one dies, one comes and like a structure. Nobody goes straight to the top of this pyramid, they don't care what your name is when you were born. This is a, a pyramid that you've been trained on, when one dies you're the next level, when one dies you go to the next level, you have to have been trained on all the levels. There's no magic mountain ticket where you just go straight to the front of the line, this doesn't work like that. All your life you have to have been trained and each position and each darajat has its own testing, its own crushing, its own difficulties. 124,000 awliyaullah always on this earth, of them Mawlana Shaykh Mawlana, Mawlana Shah Naqshaban Allah Siru claimed 7,007 of them to be from Naqshbandiya at all times. So out of this 124,000, 7,007 are Naqshbandi shaykhs. And why the 7,007 is what was just explained, that Allah will make their faculties and their seven points to be opened and the, the dunya and it's seven because Allah will open the seven points on their physical body and the reality of their soul, the zero zero because Allah doesn't care for the dunya and doesn't care for akhirah. And what they will inherit is from the seven of the holy face because everything of those why it's a nukht, why there's two dots between the seven is because dunya will perish, akhirah will perish and all that's left are these two sevens. The seven the dressing their reality and the seven of the holy face and these are the ones whom Allah refers to in Qur'an, they feed you from their sustenance and they don't care from anything from you, all they ask is from Allah's Divinely face, Waja Allah and Wajikal Kareem. So everything they're doing on this earth is to get the ticket for Wajik al Kareem that Allah open their realities and grant them from that which is eternal because they know dunya what they're going to take from dunya is glowing, it's already look like a dead carcass. And akhirah what they want to do in, in amusement parks and akhirah, they want to be dressed and blessed by the Divinely face for all of eternity. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yatifoon wa salaam ala mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bi Muhammad al-Mustafa, Nasir Surat al-Fatiha.